What's up ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to an all new Let's Play of Hearts of Iron 4 where we are continuing our campaign as the French Empire. It is the 25th of August 1944 and I am happy to report that we have obviously liberated Belgium, the Netherlands, Luxembourg and for the first time in I believe the last six or seven years our forces have finally reached east of the Rhine River and on into Germany. It is only a matter of time before the German Reich will fall and we are continuously working our uh, on our economy. In the next 134 days, I believe our need for foreign oil is going to absolutely uh, crumble, not only as we go ahead and, you know, build up more and more synthetic refineries, but the idea is if we could finally stop producing um, medium tanks and obviously go ahead and get modern tanks, our foreign dependence is going to be reduced by about 50%. Now keep in mind, we no longer are going to need tungsten, but we are going to need chromium. Now we do produce some chromium, um, so it's it's still not going to be fully efficient, but definitely it is a heck of a lot cheaper in terms of resources rather than building up our medium tanks. One other thing I want to point out, um, a modern tank has double the production cost. So realistically, if a medium tank takes, you know, five days to build, a modern tank will take ten. So I do want to also point out that I'm going to need roughly, I would like about 5,000 medium tanks, and we're building about 35, so that means we're about to get um, 150 times 35, so wow, dang, and roughly an additional 5,000 plus our 2,000. So we're going to have 7,000 medium tanks in reserves. Uh, looking at our recruit and deploy, in the last episode, I have gone ahead and I have added four additional armored divisions. And the entire idea is I'm probably going to throw them on into Syria. If we lose this territory, it's not the biggest deal in the world. But I want to be able to assist Turkey um, because obviously Iran and Afghanistan are both puppets of the Soviet Union. As you can see. All right, let's go ahead and unpause the game. Watch um, Charles de Gaulle absolutely annihilate the German Reich. As you can see, a lot of their forces are missing equipment. And uh, sadly enough, one thing I am upset about, all of these areas that we are conquering are actually going to, like, Netherlands. And uh, I don't really like that. Um, but nevertheless, I would like to go ahead and capitulate the, well... I would like all of these resources for myself. So maybe this isn't necessarily the best thing to do. I believe the German Reich are going to push these guys on back. Um, so potentially I could try to go ahead and cross this river. Uh, that would be absolutely ridiculous. You know, if it's working, let's not really go ahead and change our battle plans. We are definitely pushing in almost every direction. And uh, you know what? You know, it is what it is. Look at all these factories, though, that are going to the Netherlands. I'm obviously a little bit sad. But I believe this will be fine. Okay, we are holding the line. All of our Mountaineers are doing a fantastic job. I hope we don't need to go ahead and, uh, you know, do any more repairs on our infrastructure. And it looks like we do, sadly enough, getting significantly damaged. Okay, Wilmshaven is about to fall. I wonder if we can go ahead, take one of these armored divisions and secure this airfield. And then go ahead and take their port. I believe this is one of the Germans' major ports with about 10 uh, level 8 naval base. Not necessarily all that bad, but the amount of dockyards they have are going to most likely be concentrated in this area. Wilmshaven is ours. Eh, only about two dockyards. Not the worst, but not the best. Let's see if we can conquer Bremen. We are definitely, finally pushing on into the German Reich's territory, which is really nice to see. We have a lot of air experience. I could go ahead and make a Series B fighter. I think I will go ahead and do that. And there we go, 425 experience. Going to be getting significantly more range, more reliability, and more agility. So they're going to be a lot less harder to take out. Sending in our armor divisions, finally clearing up this last little mess. 
And it looks like all of these units... Ah! Are we now finally getting territory of our own? Yes, we are. That is nice to see. <laughs> Who knows? Maybe we'll be able to take some territory. <laughs> and finally get some factories. Okay, just like that, um, we have gained a significant amount of territory. I believe fairly soon the Netherlands are going to finally start using all of this uh, 1.46 million manpower. Okay, let's grab all of our units. And we are still pushing, but I feel like eventually we do need to create another offensive line. How are the research projects coming along? 120 days until we finally have our modern tank. We're going to be getting more damage from the improved infantry equipment. Night vision, so 10% better attack during the night, of course. Um, better level 3 mechanized are going to be incredibly useful. And the backhand blow tactic. So this is definitely going to be a big year. Looks like the United Kingdom taking territory as well. All of these units are taking attrition, which is absolutely nice to see. Uh, you need to come here. And I guess we can finally go ahead and create ourselves the additional offensive line. So that means we can get some planning preparation. Um, but I, I realize that we're already activated, so it's not the biggest deal in the world. Next up, Berlin. I believe uh, the German Reich is going to capitulate once we take Berlin and obviously Vienna. Mm, let's go like this. Okay, looking at our construction, it looks like some civilian factories are almost ready to go. We are still building up some refineries and obviously getting a healthier economy. One thing I do want to point out, most of everything I'm building is mostly going to be inside France, Corsica, and in Africa. And the reason why I say this is I realize that I'm building some stuff in other areas. But once the peace treaty is done, I really want to have all of our core territories as built up and uh, as developed as possible. Because for who knows, maybe I won't be getting Libya. I would be very sad. Uh, maybe I, I'm most likely going to be getting like Sardinia for sure, Sicily for sure, the Balearic Isles. But um, I also, looks like we're in two different wars, obviously. One against the Soviet Union and the other against the German Reich. We have only lost 435,000 troops this entire war. So we are doing incredibly well. And it'd be cool if we could cut these units off. I wonder how hard it would be to move into this rugged territory. Probably fairly hard. Can we take the town? I don't know, but all these units are running out of organization and supplies. How hard would it be to cross this river? I guess that's my next question. I'm about to take some additional dockyards, at least that's what I'm assuming all of these areas are. And sadly, because we don't own a Hanover, we can't actually see what we've conquered. Which is sad. Okay, pushing in almost every direction. I would absolutely like to take the city of Wurttemberg. Okay. Taking more and more ports, therefore gaining more and more supplies. I feel like our liberation of Denmark should probably come right about now. And we are probably... I don't know if Denmark is part of the Allies, but they should be. I don't know if we're going to run into any issues. Looks like we are running into infrastructure issues, though. Not the worst thing in the world. Bougez-vous! Can I beat this guy out? Probably not. Okay, we have additional military factories. Um, let's take a glance. I am actually running out of infantry equipment. And running out of... Mm, let's go ahead and put two and two in both of these areas. I don't really want any more artillery or anti-tank, but we're going to put two and two on those. Écoutez. Okay, Denmark is very close to being liberated. I feel like they are going to have units here, but we're going to try our best. 
to uh, liberate Denmark and fight off the Germans. Okay, one more tile to go. All right, they're bolstering their forces. This does make me nervous. Mm. <laughs> I have very low organization, probably from low supply. If these units look like they're moving, I should probably be concerned. And I wonder how my marines are doing. Okay, have we activated our plans? Not really. Um, let's try to cross wherever we can. You need to come here. In fact, you need to keep pushing. All right, we are definitely, finally liberating Denmark. All we got to do is take this town, and then they're going to be gaining a lot of additional civilian factories, so then they can finally create their own armies. And there we have it. They have gained four, uh, four military factories. All of their civilian factories are probably going to be used to uh, repair their economy. Once again, we have more military factories that we have no idea what to throw them into. Um, I get We don't really want any more mechanized. Well, I guess we do. Um, let's grab more and more mechanized. And then we'll probably grab some additional medium tanks. I realize that we don't have the resources to produce those, but that is fine by me for now. We need a lot of oil, sadly enough. One, two. And we're now going to be importing oil from Venezuela. I still need five additional oil. So I gotta, I probably gotta start cracking on building up a lot of these synthetic refineries. But Denmark is being liberated. That is incredibly nice to see. I feel like our medium tanks can easily fight off these Germans, and it looks like we are. Okay, here comes Canada. And there goes the last few units inside Denmark. Okay. I would l absolutely like to go ahead and keep pushing. So I might even go ahead and aggressively execute our battle plans. And we have taken the city of Hanover, gaining a variety of military factories, dockyards, and civilian factories. And let's finally go ahead and get modern Blitzkrieg. This is the final land doctrine. So once we go ahead and research that, things should be a heck of a lot easier. I want this last, uh, this synthetic refinery to be conquered. Don't know the best way to go about this, though. I'm sure that uh, the Allied forces will help us, uh, lend us a hand. British Malaysia has capitulated. Is that all of my tungsten? 48 of it. Um, that is sad. And nobody else wants to really trade me tungsten. So all we gotta do <laughs> is for the next 85 days just wait out this deficit. And we could take Brandenburg or the city of Magburg. I would like to keep pushing, but obviously we are in a bit of a predicament. And you know what I think I'm gonna do? If we could somehow isolate these units, let's actually grab all of our tanks. And what we're going to do is bring them all down to southern Germany, and we're going to stop activating our plans. Okay, synthetic refinery is still being constructed. Um, <laughs> we still need tungsten, which is sad. We don't really need any more motorized. So I'm actually trying to disband and destroy a lot of those. Ooh, all of Syria has been conquered. Can we go ahead and run away? That is my actual next question. And in fact, all we really need to do is take a port. And what is this? There was a tank up, uh, a motorized division up here. 
Yes, there was. So let's get you. Well, we'll figure it out in time. Okay, now we should be able to just drive. I don't know why it's going to take so long. Maybe it's because the only infrastructure we have has been absolutely annihilated. If we lose these units, I am going to be sad. We're being attacked by almost every angle. Okay, have all of my tanks arrived, at least most of them. So what I want to do is I want to go ahead and cross this river and try to just remove this pocket of resistance. Night vision has been unlocked. It's not 1946. Uh, it's not even 1945. We could improve our artillery. It's definitely not needed. We could get the close air support. We could finally go ahead and get encryption at rank 3, which is exactly what we're going to do. We're going to finally get our encryption and decryption unlocked. And we are about to cross the river. We probably could go ahead and liberate Munich. But we will see exactly what happens. Alright, I'm going to take two of these modern tanks, bring them on down. And all we got to do is take about two more tiles. And then all of these units are going to wither away from a lack of attrition. Or a lack of supply. Alright, we uh, maybe we got to take one more tile as well. Écoutez. I don't know if they can get through that river, but just in case. Okay, and just like that, we have cut off all of these units. Mobile warfare is particularly useful <laughs> when it comes to surrounding enemy troops. So a lot less casualties that we need to deal with. And they are already at 2% attrition. Attention. And moving on up. I could probably attack from the other end as well. Oh, you know what? Um, we actually had a front line rather than a fallback line. I don't know if I like that, but I think that's going to be fine for now. Improved infantry equipment has been unlocked. Let's go ahead and begin working on decryption rank 2. Right. And modern tanks and medium tanks flowing on in to where they can. IT. And I'm curious if I could go ahead and keep pushing. Attention. At least that's what I would like to do. Okay. Right. And it looks like it is working significantly well. Strasbourg is finally going to be my... Oh, they've taken Strasbourg. Was not really expecting that. Enemy has been overrun. And getting pushed back. We are incredibly close to Munich. But I don't think I have the tanks to spare. Eh, at least not until we reconquer Strasbourg. Okay. Alright, we are definitely pushing on into Berlin. The Germans are losing... I would like to say they probably lost about a million men uh, since our invasion uh, through the Rhine. And let's take a look at our war score participation. We are currently at 44%, which is really nice to see. So we're probably going to be taking a bunch of territory in the peace deal. And there goes Strasbourg, assuming that everybody can, you know, push through at once. How many units do they have? Only about four divisions. But we are obviously encircling the enemy. Says it's going to last for 19 more days, but I highly doubt that. Bye. And it looks like 
I, I wish I could see who exactly or what rank this general is, but I highly doubt he's a level 9 general. Uh, excuse me, Charles de Gaulle is level 8. But, you know, it's still a significantly power powerful advance. Okay, um, I would like to take Munich. Let's go ahead and try that. It looks like they have a synthetic refinery, which could mean more oil. Okay, 51 days until our modern tanks, and it looks like Strasbourg is still being worked on, whittled down day after day. <laughs> they do have level 5 anti-air. I guess technically that's me. Alright, I am ready to continue my advance. Everybody has planning preparation. And finally, we've taken Strasbourg. All 14 of these units are probably going to go ahead and stay exactly where they are. Because all I really want to do is just throw in a lot of medium tanks and mechanized. Looks like we've also gone ahead, finally unlocked mechanized rank 3. We're going to lose a little bit more oil. And <laughs> it's going to actually be incredibly costly. So now we need to import 57 oil once again. Get about 30 from Venezuela, uh, 12 from Canada, 11 from Colombia. Do we need any more? Yes, we do. But unlocking synthetic refineries would probably be our best option. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. And I'm going to throw all of these up to the top. And then we could go ahead and obviously push these up as well. Looks like we're still building that fort in South Tyrol, uh, but I'm not sure uh, why it was never built to begin with. Attention. Obviously, attack after attack. And let's go ahead and begin um, our advance. So we've taken Munich. How many resources were here? Quite a variety of military factories. We still are lacking about 74 tungsten. Is there anything that I can do? To import more. British Malaysia exists once again. And are we in a surplus of tungsten? Yes, we are. But I'm sure as we get more military factories, those will dwindle away. Alright, gaining more land inside Munich. We have another research slot available. Um, let's go ahead. It's not 1945. I guess we can get decryption rank 3. So we can determine the enemy's tactics much more efficiently. Ah, uh, sadly enough, all of our motorized units did get wiped away. And the Suez Canal has actually been conquered. I was not expecting that. So what I'm going to do now is try my best to go ahead and auto-deploy all of these armored units. I would like to have an infinite amount. Um, do we have enough resources to get more? That is my question. And I'm only going to build one. Yes, we do. Okay, Bye. these units can go ahead and become red. And one thing that I would like to do, um, for the sake of having fun, well, I guess we could take this general, because he is a level 4. I was going to go ahead and create my own, but Joseph de Saint Arnaud is going to be heading on down to the Suez Canal and uh, trying your best to hold the line. And we are building eight more tanks for him, so it isn't going to be the biggest issue in the world. I would like yeah, to take these six and throw them on, but uh, I don't think I will. All right, moving on into Prague, moving on into Berlin. And advancing day after day. Well, sadly enough, I guess I do need to end this episode, but thank you all for joining me. Hope you all have an awesome day. I will see you in our next adventure.